Hey guys, it's Lewis here, and today I want to show you how to make over a thousand different NFT gifts for your collection. So without further ado, hit that like and subscribe button, and let's jump straight into it. Now, I've already loaded my pre-made PNG into this, but you will have to make your own artwork. Uh, the real thing you want to do is get this some animations into this. Um, the way we do that is clicking at the bottom and we need to copy this frame at least about four times and let's say we want to make his arms move. Um, we can do that and we have to do it per each frame. So as you can see I'm on frame two right now moving his arms upwards. And then we go to do the third frame and we complete the animations as you can see and then the final one we put his arms back to normal So out of those four frames and you can preview it. So it looks like that. Now we want to actually export this. To do that, we need to go ahead and disable the layers for each one of these slides, but all layers except for the actual sprite itself. So you go through each slide and turn off what you don't want to export. So that leaves us with the man. And you go ahead and repeat that task for this one, this one, and this one. It does sound a bit tedious, uh, but it's worth making the GIF. And then once you've done that, you go and click File, Resize Canvas, and we want to tick Resize Contents and change 32 to 400. This is so we can get a clearer pixel image once we export the image. And then export, download, and then export sprite sheet. Now you will need to repeat this whole process for each item that you have. So if I wanted to get the glasses, even though they weren't animated, I still need to export the sprite sheet. Um, from this program this is because we can plug it then plug it into the automatic generator that will pay off it will make you over a thousand FTs for this specific project so repeating that process for each one and then file export and then sprite sheet that's the one you want and then once you've done that for the each layer you should end up with sprites so these are the backgrounds let's see if we can find our hat okay. yep we have the sprite here and I've named our animation moving man and then you can see his arms go down middle up and back down to middle these are the sprites that we want to export now what I've done is I've gone ahead and renamed them to whatever you want but for this to work you need to have a hash and then the rarity number of each item. So the rarity number is the percentage chance it will have of showing up when you actually go ahead and generate the different uh, gifts. We then want to go ahead and download Node.js. We want to make sure we're downloading version 16.13, the LTS version, not the 17.1. And then we want to go to GitHub and download what's called the Generative GIF Engine. I've linked both of these in the description down below. To download the GIF, en GIF Engine, you just click on Code, Download as Zip, and it should give you a folder that we're gonna plug into Visual Studio in the next part. We then want to go ahead and open the generative GIF engine in Visual Studio Code. So I've got it loaded here. And then it brings us to this screen here. So we then want to go and open up, make sure that our layers are showing. So click down. 
that allies are coming up in here. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yes, there we go. Something's wrong. Let's in the hidden files. Cool, cool, cool. And then we want to add them into our config.js. So if you go SR to the SRC, right click, double click config.js. You want to scroll down until you see layer configurations. So this is this config file is where we can configure everything. Uh, but importantly, we want to actually add the layers in. And to do that, we go and write this code. So we do hat and that corresponds to hat there. We do accessory that responds to it, responds to accessory here the mouth and so on. The number on this is how many different images you have in each file, it helps. And then just for reference, the ordering that you put it in is from back, the back of the actual PNG or GIF to the front. So the background will appear at the back and then the hat is the one that will appear on top of everything. This is the first time you're running this. You need to type NPM, that's N for November, P for Papa, and M for Mike, and then install, and then press enter, and it should install the required packages you need to actually run. It'll create this folder called node modules, and then what essentially that is, is just this, um, this program is going to be calling a bunch of different independent node modules, and then we need to make sure they're installed. Uh, once that's done, you can go ahead and type in node index.js, and then it starts creating the actual Jarvis, um, the GIFs. And then once we've finished that, we need to actually. Um, go ahead and run a script that puts in the different attributes the fault will it finalizes the gif by putting in the final settings so script dot js and it should give you something like this so directory just press enter um leave playing enter storage auto I like to do 150 frames per second on this one. And then the flame frame width, you can leave as auto. It should automatically pick that up. Uh, for hex, you wanna change it to FF, FF, FF. So the background's white. For some reason, it's got 0000, zero, zero, zero FF, that's blue. We don't want that. So press enter and press enter again. And then yes, proceed with conversion. And then it should build your PNG. It will convert your PNGs into actual GIFs. And to actually access them, we come into our generative GIFs folder and then we go into build, double click GIFs. And yeah, all our GIFs are now pre populated in here. So that's pretty much it from me guys, um, I'd really appreciate a like and subscribe button, um, reach out if you have any questions, and yeah, enjoy!